Hi, this is David Doss for Motu. Here's 10 power user tips for editing in the sequence editor. When I record audio, I always keep overdub mode on, which means new audio gets added as a new layer over the previous layers. Layers can go as deep as you want them to. This gives me a lot of flexibility later. Here, I'm recording a new bass part over an old bass part that I wasn't too crazy about. Once the recording's done, I can move the mouse to the edge of the new soundbite and peel back the layer until I find the right splice point. I'll do that at the end of this take too. Then, let's say I played a bad note at measure 29. If I double click in the soundbite, select that note and hit the delete key, I'll get rid of just that top layer, revealing the layer underneath it. Then of course, I'll select this entire area and crossfade to make it seamless. If you're in the business of making commercials, you'll enjoy this one. Here's a quick disclaimer voiceover I recorded. The car manufacturer is furnishing this item as is. It does not provide any warranty of the item whatsoever, whether express, implied, or statutory, including... But what if you need this disclaimer to fit within a very short few seconds at the end of a commercial? Just put your mouse in the upper left or right hand corner of the soundbite until you get the time stretch tool that looks like a hand. Then grab the soundbite and drag it to the new length you want it to be. DP can both compress and expand time elastically. The car manufacturer is furnishing this item as is. It does not provide any warranty of the item whatsoever, whether express, implied, or statutory, including but not limited to any warranty of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose or any warranty that the contents of the item will be error free. Bonus tip, if you experiment with this tool multiple times, DP is smart enough to always refer to the original soundbite to adjust its time, so it doesn't keep degrading the sound by time stretching an already time stretched version. I produced a session in which the singer sang a sustain note but ended a little bit short, and later after the session was over I decided I really wanted that sustain to go all the way to the bar line, the blue line highlighted here. Here's the original vocal. Hollywood. This note has some vibrato, which means that both pitch wise and volume wise it's got peaks and troughs, so the key is to try and keep that pattern consistent. First, I'll make sure my grit is off, then I'll select the sustain portion of the soundbite, including its release and then choose Edit Split to make that a separate soundbite. Now I'm going to option drag the soundbite to the right. The option key tells DP to make a copy instead of just moving the original soundbite. If I need to, I'll use the arrow keys to fine tune the position of the copied soundbite. Then I'll edge edit to try and match those peaks and troughs as best I can. Finally, a little crossfade and I have a magically extended note that should be absolutely undetectable once the full track is playing around the vocal. Hollywood.